Hello everybody, it's Chuck Thunder and we're back with another episode. I am just doing a test recording here and I figured if I'm going to record and test, um, I might as well uh, talk to you guys a bit and even show you what I'm doing with Diablo again. Um, but first off, the reason why I'm doing the test is because I've played around with some of my settings. I've noticed that lately I have not been able to record like long videos and I have a feeling it's something to do with the fact that where my video recording system was depositing the videos, where it was saving them. I have a SSD and an HDD, uh, so my hard drive disk being a so not a solid state, don't think was able to keep up with the videos being imprinted on them. Um, so I was getting like maybe ten, like three to five minutes of it before it would like lose its ability to keep up with the write ability on the disk and then it would die. So I did a little bit of a short recording before, just before this one and I recorded to my SSD and it was about a 10 minute video and it recorded just fine. There were some issues with the recordings that I'm going to iron out now, such as the sound being really loud. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn the effects volumes down um, a little bit in the master volume here because um, it doesn't need to be that loud. And I also realized it was recording from my camera video of audio versus my microphone audio. So hopefully this is better than what it was. Um, and we're going to do a GR real quick so you guys can get a sense of what it is I'm doing. Um, and um, also for the sense of sound and scale, which it is, seems to be working now, which is great. Um, I also turned up my DPI on my mouse, which was another issue I was having, where I was not able to move my mouse fast enough to try to get away from people attacking me in this game. So, die! Thank you. Um, and this is going to be a little bit harder because I'm doing the GR105, I believe, and I'm like pushing 100s myself. Now, I should be able to do this, no problem. The real issue is just that I need to make sure I stay ahead of the timer. I don't care about the speed necessarily. I only really care about, there we go, I care only really about just being able to complete the GR and if possible at least without dying and that seems to be a struggle because I lose track of my band of might. Like right now it's about to go out so I need to spam it in order to keep my defense up because that seems to be the largest perpetrator of my deaths. And then on top of that, I noticed that I do significantly more damage when I kill elites because of the build that I have, so I have to focus elites and I have to move quickly between elites, which means skipping over some of the trash in between and focusing elites only when the elites are present. And I do have to clear some of the damage out every once in a while, but I do need to find elites and keep up my stacks at the same time, which is part of the difficulty. Uh, my frenzy stacks, I don't want to, st to stop, and I don't want my rampage uh, stacks to end either. So that is another thing I need to make sure I keep up as well. So we're doing our best to pile through these and keep up the stacks. Here we go, we got an elite right here, so let's focus you. Get my band of might to trigger, go, 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 there we go. I worry about the Band of Might not triggering and getting somebody getting lucky and getting a hit in between the Band of Mites uh, dropping off. Perfect. Um, but yeah, we got it. We're good. I get stressed from playing this game in a way that I think slows my ability to speak, but I'm trying to speak frequently and often to try to keep you guys entertained while I do this. So. Okay, we don't want to go back that way. We don't want to double back. We want to find the exit and more elites. Oh, and speed pilots. Oh, and double elites. That's nice. Let's get about. Die. Let's get him out of here. Come on, die. Oh, I died. I was like, I needed to get out. Let's get. Yeah, it's the problem. You can't be caught in the middle of all of that without some st frenzy stacks to reduce your damage. There we go. There we go. Now I got some frenzy stacks. Eight frenzy stacks is good. There we go. Too many elites and once I can't handle them. And you're dead. Cool. Alright, so we did die, but we managed to keep up our time and that's all that matters another elite pack get out of here let's get to the next one 
should be elite right here. Yep, there's always an elite like right up front. Get him to drop. Come on, die. Perfect. And the Rift Guardian's here. And then I kill the Rift Guardian very quickly. So we'll get at least four of oh, I'm out of shard space, but it's okay. It's not worth going back for. And then let's get, can we get one more in? Yeah, all right, and then let's do the one that heals us a bit. Yep. See, it heals 4% of our maximum health, which means if I keep on stacking vitality, that 4% is gonna be more. I mean, it's gonna be more life, but it's still only ever gonna be 4% of our health, which means as we go up in the GRs, it's gonna, we're gonna need more and more life uh, to be restored to keep ourselves alive. Yeah, we're still below five. That's all that matters. And we're clearing two levels per paragon per time, so so that's good. All right, all of that is now. Excuse me, I'm burping. Um. All that has been done. Oh, is this one? No, not as good. I need an ancient version of the Oath Keeper. Um, I don't need an ancient in Geom, but I do want to get ancient versions of all of my sets. Undisputed Champion, is that the one? Yeah, I need that one to be an ancient at some point too, but it is not. I gained 433, 34 life for Fury spent. I don't think that's going to help. I need, kind of need to change that because I'm not spending Fury. This generates fury. These expend fury. Nope, Gen generate fury, generate fury, generate fury. This one doesn't cost fury because it's just a large cooldown. This is generates fury. So no, this isn't doing us any good. We need to change that. And I just realized how stupid that one was. Nothing here that I need. And I don't know if my... I haven't been like focusing my Templar at all. Um, so I have no idea if the Templar needs anything in particular. So much wolf Roland. No, okay, so we're going to go ahead and repair and salvage all of this. Come on, there we go. Let's go put all that away. And let's roll that one because we're not spending fury. So what can we do? If we're not spending fury, bash damage? Nope. We're not using bash. Armor is going to help protect us, so we'll take that. Nope. We'll keep taking the armor. I'll keep taking the armor. What are the options we can even get? Oh, we'll take one more ar armor. Let's see what options we can get here. Weapon throw, frenzy damage. Yeah, so if we can increase the frenzy damage, that would be ideal. Um, 10 to 15 percent but at the very least if we can get some percentage of life or percentage of armor um, that would be nice armor is not bad but armor is not my main concern okay that's the maximum we can get out of that so let's we'll just take that and hopefully that'll increase our damage output I mean if it's increasing frenzy which is our main damage output that would be freaking sweet so let's go do one more GR we'll do another GR 105 see how we do with that one see if that did anything to increase our survivability or anything I don't know it seems like we're killing our, elite, our uh, dudes faster but you know it's hard to determine I don't like these kinds of maps because I can't see what's around the corner I don't know when I need to fury charge into them and vice versa Go. Power pylons are nice. Get out of there. Get out. Perfect. Nice. Well, maybe this is making a big difference. That extra 15% of damage on Frenzy is pretty dang good because that's our main damage output, so... Yeah, that 
it's making a lot world of difference, I think, on the damage output. Uh oh, we gotta get out of there. Oh. Come on, die. I hate these Nova Blasts, man. My God. But they're dangerous, especially in tight spaces. They'll wipe you out in one hit. Monsters. <sighs> These guys suck because they keep backing up. swing. Nice. Thank you. Oh yeah, nice. I think that 15% made a bit of a difference. Why are these elites harder to kill than the Rift Guardians? Nice. Oh, shield. Nice. That means we get an elite. We we'll get an elite in here, too. Nice. And Rift Guardian focus. Bang. Orlash is dead. And we did it perfectly. That's probably like one of our best 105s that we've ever done. Oh, shoot, I keep forgetting to spend my... Um, oops, whatever. <clears throat> come on. Damn, come on. Yeah. Cool. All right, let's. Um, that's worth saving. Four hundred forty-two blood shards. Let's go spend our blood shards and see if we can roll a. Um, oh, where's the blood shard lady? Here she is. And let's go spend them on boots, pants, or shoulders. Let's do shoulders. All right. Nope. All right. Let's go ahead and quickly do this. If it's an ancient, we keep it. No, nope, no ancients. Oh, we sell all that. Let's go spend some more. 
shoulders. Wow, all the same freaking shoulders. It's insane. I got like all the same shoulders. No, 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 and no, and no. So none of them were what I was expecting. Can I do it one more time? We can. We'll do shoulders. And we got a set of shoulders, but it is not better than the ones we have. So we can just go ahead and sell those or salvage those. Let's go back into the portal, pick up the last blood shards. Then we can go back and close the portal. So, yeah, hopefully this is all recording well and sounds great. Level 05, it wasn't the best one we've ever done, but nice. All right, well, everybody, I do appreciate you watching um, and testing this video, recording that with me. Hopefully it came out well, and I will post it just for the sake of letting you guys see what it is I'm doing. See you later, guys. It's Chuck Thunder signing out.